Ripple XRP, Coinbase has come out with some very bullish news and in particular for 2024, we also have some news from Stephen Nairov himself talking about what the SEC could potentially be hiding and what they are hiding from you. And I do have a video about the Black Swan and how the institutional investment companies do not want us to make money. They want retail out and again, I'm only showing you more and more proof that they want you to sell your cryptocurrency and not be free. And of course, we will be looking at the price action for both XRP and XLM coin towards the end of the video all I ask from you are two things which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well. Now the first bit of news that we have is from the Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong and he talks about the crypto run that we could potentially have in 2024. And then just in the last 30 or 60 days we've seen a big run up in the crypto prices. So now I'm sitting here thinking okay maybe this crypto winter is starting to thaw. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going to happen in the future. But the ETF applications that have been filed, about a dozen of them by the biggest financial institutions in the world, is a huge endorsement. It's going to bring in new pools of capital. Um, you know, the, the enforcement actions, I think, have actually psychologically allowed people to turn the page and say, okay, justice has been served, the pain has been delivered to the market, and still we can grow from here. And then, you know, next year, I think the move to layer two solutions is going to prove the scalability of crypto enormously. I think that's going to be a huge thing, kind of like moving from dial up to broadband on the internet. I think there's a Bitcoin happening next year. So my guess is that next year will be pretty positive. The emerging regulatory clarity, you know, 83% of the G20 countries are working on crypto legislation now. Um, so I think all these factors are going to lead to a, hopefully a good outcome next year for crypto. And we're just, you know, our, our goal is just to kind of keep our heads down, keep building, try not to get distracted by um, the noise and the headlines. It's all very sensationalist. Um, and just if we can just build good products for our customers and not do something stupid um, in the meantime, then I think we're going to be in a very good place. So again, we have some very wise words from the CEO of Coinbase. They're putting their head down. They're doing the work that needs to be done and they are not getting distracted from any of the events that are happening. But this is some really bullish news and it will be bullish for the likes of XRP and XLM coin as we see more legal clarity going forward and with all of these events that are happening as well. Of course, we have seen that nice run up happening in December just of this month and a bit in November as well. And guys, that run up was great. We have seen massive green candles happening. Of course, with big Bitcoin running all of the way to $44,000. Again, with that price target, it was roughly around about 40 k but it managed to surpass it. And all of the other altcoins also managed to follow in suit. And that was just a mini bull run that we could potentially see because we still have not had those catalysts basically happening for us. And so this was just kind of a taster in effect. But this goes to show that we will be having some bullish things happening in 2024. And so this really is a great time to be in the cryptocurrency space. So what has Steven Nairov said with regard to the the SEC, what could they potentially be hiding behind the scenes? Well, he says over here that word on the street is that the growing mountain of evidence of the SEC's corrupt activities against crypto was a significant factor in their decision to settle with Ripple. And I think over here he means to settle with Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson as they dropped the case between them. But the settlement with Ripple is still ongoing. And I hold a treasure trove myself. And there is another 14 gigabytes that the SEC has stonewalled from giving me under my privacy act request. I now have to sue the SEC to get the data and at this point it seems obvious that more cases of agency corruption will come to light. Who knows how far this SEC attack on crypto goes and so this just goes to show that we already know that the SEC are corrupt but the fact of the matter is that there's 14 gigabytes worth of data that the SEC have but they are not disclosing it and giving it to Stephen Nairoff. So there could potentially be more things that the SEC have done and this just goes to show that they don't want retail investors to be holding into crypto as well and they are only making more obstacles for us to actually be able to hold cryptocurrency and it seems like as if they are really not on our side the SEC should be unbiased and they should be looking at things from that perspective they shouldn't be looking at things with a biased point of view but this just goes to show that they are hiding data from us and we really don't know what is happening behind the scenes now also with the SEC corruption we do actually have confirmation with the fact that the institutions don't want us to get into cryptocurrency and they don't want us to make money do keep out this explanation to you guys over and over again but I'm basically just showing you this so you know that it's not some sort of conspiracy theory and after this video we will be looking at the price action for both of the coins associated with that is you you don't want anybody to make money if you're trying to hollow them out 
So you right. first inflict immense economic hardship on them so that the necessary bull market that has to happen sees minimal participation by individuals and the corporatocracy is the primary participants and the originators of the token. So the extreme worldly wealthy, the trillionaires of this world, are not going to allow themselves just to be broken down to 10 million because the debt markets are collapsing and they hold all the debt. They have seeded the new system and they are the, the big holders in the new system and they're going to inflate that as they deflate that. So it will be directly proportional and they will be absolutely maintaining and expanding their wealth and we're going to have a bigger hollowing out of the middle and surf them as the... And again, that is a tactic and strategy and what they're basically doing is trying to squeeze us out with that economic hardship. Of course, with retail investors, we only have so much money that we can cryptocurrency at one time and only so much that we can hold. When you are seeing bear markets and when you're seeing the prices go down and below your cost average, unfortunately, it is going to cause people to sell off and they're not going to be holding the crypto with a lot of people now in cryptocurrency and especially people who are either at the beginning stages or have held the crypto for a long amount of time they are going to be effectively pushed to the sidelines and they will be convinced that they won't be seeing a return on their investment because they are waiting too long for the prices to go up we see a lot of people always complaining about the price of xrp xlm shiba inu coins like that and how they have not seen massive pumps and so of course that will convince them to basically withdraw their investment but all what it means is that in institutions will buy up your investments now if you do want to sell your coins for a profit that makes sense sell your coins make your profit but then buy back in at a lower price but if you just give up on cryptocurrency in general and sell off well then they are basically taking away your financial freedom because that is what cryptocurrency is about it's bringing back your freedom steering away from the traditional finance systems such as your banks and you are able to hold your coins freely securely in your cold wallets so let's have a look at the price action today for xrp coin we are down by 3.19 percent we are trading at 0.597 our volume is up by 82.68 percent and we are currently trading at 1.5 billion dollars now this is great that we have come back down it only means that you can buy more and that we are waiting for our bull run on the one day chart we actually went to a low of 0.5845 however we managed to recover by one cent and we are up to that 59 cent level so guys this level is pretty key as you remember before i said that if we go below that 61 cents we will be testing in this level again at 59 cents if we break through this we could potentially see 55 cents which will be a new low for us in quite some time the highest that we went to was on the 9th of december at just under 69 cents with 2.35 billion dollars in volume so i do want xrp coin again to be at that 63 cents it has come down by roughly around about three cents again let's have a look to see if we can close the day at 60 cents but we are still pretty much just sideways trading for stellar xlm coin we are down by 3.72 percent on the one day chart and we are currently trading at 11.95. We are up by 37.85% on the volume and we are trading at $92 million. So we are pretty much moving in line with XRP. You'll see over here on the one day chart, the lowest that we went to was 0.1168. We have managed to come back up quite slightly and just nearing that border of the 12 cent mark. We were actually pretty much sideways traded within that mid range of the 12 cents. We have finally broken under it and we've gone to the downside. But again, we've done pretty well with Stellar XLM coin. We were trading in that mid range of the 11 cents. So let's see if it will go back there and actually hold it guys if you want daily xrp and xlm coin news subscribe to the channel and like the video as well